it is time for the gold medal game. Three on three basketball. The players are being introduced. This is the Ukraine against Russia. Let's listen in. So you see the teams on the court, Russia defeating Spain 13 to 12 in the semifinals to make it here to the gold medal. Ukraine knocking off Slovenia 21-16 in the semifinals to get here. So one of these teams will win gold, the other will win silver. It's the gold medal game, Ukraine and the Russian Federation women's three on three basketball. And that's the easy game to play. Before we were watching um, the game for the bronze medal, and it's a tough game because that means that you lost semi-final. But here, the eight players they're gonna enjoy this final. And Ukraine, for me, is one of the big surprises of the tournament. I think they didn't, they wouldn't expect to be here, but they deserve it because they've been playing really, really well especially in offense. Now, Ukraine finished ninth in the 2014 European Championships. So you're right, they were not expected to get this far, but here they are playing for gold because they have been perfect. They have not lost. They won all three of their preliminary games and they have won all three of their tournament games. So Ukraine in the white, Russia in the red, and we are underway. And the first shot is no good. For Ukraine, number eight is Matsko. Number 10, Mazianchenko. Number 13, Zaretska. Number 15, Paziuk. For Russia, number five, or number seven, Petrushina. Number eight, Vidmer. Number nine, Cheripanova. Number 18, Reskopseva. And Russia, or check it, Ukraine gets on the board first with a basket from Saritska, but she's showing that she's, she scores so fast, so easy. So Russia better defend well like they did against Spain. We are even at one, 30 seconds into the game. Russia with the ball, the shot and the basket. Again, Saritska scoring. This is a back and forth game. A lot of intensity, a lot of activity, both teams. You could see there's not much transition in three on three basketball. In fact, you could say there's no transition. You go right from offense to defense, back to offense, back to defense. It is fast and furious. And a foul is called on Leskov Seva as she pushed the Ukrainian player out of bounds. That was Matsko. And I like the activity of both teams. Ukraine with the ball. That's Nichenko. No good. Rebounded by Petrushina for Russia. This is Chiripanova. And she banks it in. And Russia takes a 3 2 lead. Russia, their only loss since coming to Baku, another basket by Ukraine, their only loss was their second game in the preliminary round when they lost to Romania 21-16. They've won every other game. And here they are playing for gold. And you heard the shot clock expire. It's a 12 second shot clock in three on three basketball. And if you've never seen it before, Shots within the three-point arc. Well, it's a three-point arc in five-on-five -five basketball. It's a two-point arc here in this game. Shots within the arc are worth one. Shots from beyond the arc are worth two. Ukraine with a 4-3 lead. 
Zaryutska, Hanna Zaryutska for Ukraine, number 13, has been playing well so far. Yeah, Zaritska and Matnichenko, both players, they are the leading score, scorers from their team. They are keeping Ukraine in a high level in offense. They, they score from everywhere. Both of them with two points. And that accounts for the four Ukrainian points. Mazuchenko puts it in. 5-4 Ukraine. And now Russia, you can see the transition, how quick it is. Vidmer, down low, banks it in, five to five. And Ukraine keep it fast, the game is good for them. Another basket, that was only a one-pointer. And you can see why, oh my goodness, a two-pointer by Zaryitska. That's the faster game ever in the competition. You can see why these are two of the highest scoring teams in Baku. Russia averaging 18.7 points a game. Ukraine averaging 18.2 points a game. Ukraine has reached 21 points twice their last two games. They've reached the maximum. Another two-pointer. Russia has reached 21 points three times and 20 points in a fourth game. And this is so interesting, Ukraine, Ukraine keeping the high level of rhythm of the game. That's good for them, not so much for Russia. So they are playing with their mind and with their legs, of course. This game will wear you out just watching it. This is Chiripanova for two. I would have loved to have seen that one go in. Rebounded by Leshkovseva, and she puts it in for one. So fun to watch. Nine to seven, here comes Ukraine. That shot partially blocked. Russia down by two. 6.48 to go. And I think they're gonna call a jump ball or a foul. Or a foul, maybe. I saw the referee put his, yeah, that's a foul. I saw the referee put his hand in the air. I thought maybe he was calling a jump ball, but that was a clear foul in the act of shooting. So Leskop Seva will, actually that was Sharapanova, will uh, shoot and make the free throw. And Russia has pulled within one, but not for long. Off the glass and in, 10 to eight Ukraine. Mazdichenko with five points for Ukraine. And Look now, at this. Yeah, and now Cherepanova showing her class. I think we should just, just enjoy it. Yeah, you're right. Russia rebound. Cherepanova, top of the key. Dribbling. Penetrates. Passes it out. Vidmer to Petrushina. And Petrushina, that's a <laughs> one-point shot just before the shot clock. 10 all, six minutes to go. A rare miss. Each team has already made eight baskets. Russia eight for 14, Ukraine eight for 15. Shot clock to three, two, one, they don't get it off. Play continues. You can't stop playing. Oh, both teams, they play so fast. They understood the concept of three on three basketball. At some point, look at this. At some <laughs> point, you gotta just slow down, don't you? You can't go this hard for 10 minutes. Cherepanova with a two pointer for Russia, and Russia takes a 12 10 lead. And we might see a timeout before we even hit the five-minute mark just to give these young ladies a break. I don't want timeout. I just <laughs> want them to keep playing. <laughs> but you, you read it well. Unbelievable. Especially when you look at what Russia did in the semifinals. They beat Spain 13 to 12, a low-scoring game. So we never saw this coming because they played that game just within a few hours ago. But it was another kind of a strategy. If, uh, Spain and Russia playing like different than now. And now they, they, are, play, they are playing Ukrainian style. So I don't know. 
if that's going to be good or bad for Russia, but we are enjoying so much. 12 to 10. Remember, if you get to 21 points, you win the game. Doesn't matter how much time is left on the clock. It's over. We don't want this game to finish. Well, unfortunately, it's going to end no. one way or the other. Russia, the ladies won the 2014 European Championships, and that team included Cherepanova and Leshkovseva. Cherepanova is the ninth-ranked player in the world in women's three-on-three -three basketball. Leshkovseva is 12th. That's according to the FIBA individual rankings. Look at that now, Cherepanova scoring from outside the arc. This is how Ukraine won their semifinal game against Slovenia. They were shooting lights out, and they've come out hot in this game, but Russia has, e has come out even hotter. Yeah, maybe they didn't expect Russia could adjust and play their way, but they've been brilliant. 14 to 10, Russia. Ukraine, though, with the free throw. Zaritska now has five points. Her teammate, Mazdichenko, has six. But they aren't even the leading scorers. Cheripanova for Russia has seven. And there you see her, Maria Cheripanova, 27 years old, six foot two, 1.88 meters. Zaritska to Maznichenko, and she hits a two-pointer. 14-13, Russia down low, 15-13. It's like a pinball machine right now. The points are being racked up. That was an off-balance shot by Ukraine. They're being beat right now at their own game. At a foul down low, Russia will go to the line. And time to rest a little bit. So fun to watch this. You see the Russian players with their hands on their hips. Tatiana Vidmer, 29 years old. She's the oldest player on the team. Puts it up, and it's 16-13. You didn't think she was going to miss, did you? No. Four minutes to go. Oh, my God. Another gosh. two. Mazdichenko. Unbelievable. The youngest player on the court at 23, 16 to 15. This game may end early, but I don't think these fans are going to feel like they were ripped off. They are thoroughly enjoying this. We do too. <laughs> this is three on three basketball at its best. 31 points have been scored already, and we have plenty of time to go. And a foul called as Mazdachenko made a baseline move. Petrushina called for the foul. And a few minutes ago, looked like Russia had the game not under control because everything goes so fast, but a, a lead. But now, almost tied again. This is back and forth all the time. Russia with the ball. Vidmer drives, no good. And Ukraine may have thrown it out of bounds. They did. Sixteen, fifteen. Russia on top. This is the gold medal game. Women's three-on-three -three basketball in Baku. Russia foul on the play. That was Tatiana Petrushina, 25 years of age, averaging 3.2 points a game. She has two so far. We have three minutes, 20 seconds to go. Olga Mezdachenko of Ukraine has scored 10 points. You rarely see players get double digits. She already has 10. Rebound, Ukraine. And she has 11. Mazdachenko. Down low, Russia. They kick it back out for two, and it's good. 
19-16, and Russia is one two-point shot away from winning the game. Down low, Russia takes it back. A chance to win. That shot is blocked. 2.44 to go. And Mazuchenko is fouled by Leskovseva. They are not in bonus yet, but this game, it's been impressive. Both teams playing their best so fast. Nothing to, to say, just enjoy the game. Take a breath, everybody. You need to take your breath right now. A rare delay here, 19-16. Ukraine in the white, down by three. They kick it out. Mazduchenko. That's for two. No good. Rebound, Russia. Cherepanova. To Vidmer. No good. Rebound. Taken by Petrushina. Down low, Vidmer puts it in. And Russia is one point away from a gold medal. And a foul. Zariutska drove, drew the foul, and for Russia, that is foul number six, so they are not in the bonus yet. It'll be one free throw. And a timeout called by Russia. 20 to 16, Russia is a bucket away from a gold medal. But Ukraine still battling. 21 points is an automatic win. Russia has 20, and you are seeing some of the highlights. Cherepanova with seven, Vidmer with five, Petrushina with five, Leshkovseva with three. For Ukraine, Mazdachenko has been their star, 11 points. She's been their leading scorer all tournament long. The other five by Zeritska. Twenty to seventeen. Ukraine is still in it, but they cannot afford to give up any more baskets, and they cannot afford to foul. No foul there. A two-pointer for the win and the gold, and they do it. Russia wins the game 22-17, and they have won the gold medal in the women's three-on-three -three basketball competition. That's the best game that we've ever seen here in Baku. A lot of effort, a lot of passion. They played their best. That was fast, incredible how both teams performed, and now I understand why Ukraine is, is why they are playing the final, really. That was amazing performance. That's the first loss suffered by Ukraine since they came to Baku. They won all three of the preliminary games. They had won their first three tournament games. I know they're disappointed, but they still have won a silver medal. And you see the Russians celebrating. They win their four tournament games and they saved their best for last.